Without a doubt, Elon Musk is one of the most controversial CEOs in the world today. Whether he is the best at his job is a debatable question, and it's rare to come across someone of fame and intelligence as Elon Musk. And today, you will see his tough process of managing Twitter. Yesterday, Musk made a number of shocking revelations on the Joe Rogan experience about why he bought Twitter, why he fired every single employee, and how in San Francisco, there is a secret movement that wants the end of the civilization. That it was having a corrosive effect on civilization, that they're propagating uh, the extinction of humanity and civilization. Musk also revealed how the government was controlling Twitter before he bought it, and which specific groups are in America that try to control people and narratives and spread their ideologies. You know, a philosophy that would be ordinarily quite niche and geographically constrained was effectively given an information a weapon. This was a very scandalous interview, so let's explain everything. First, Musk stated that Twitter was owned by radical people who had radical ideas and accidentally got this giant information weapon and they were using it in bad faith. That's why he bought Twitter. As Musk said, a philosophy that would be ordinarily quite a niche and geographically constrained was effectively given an information weapon to propagate what is essentially a mind virus to the rest of Earth. According to Musk, downtown San Francisco has changed. Some people see it as a beautiful city, but there are problems. If you go near the Twitter headquarters, it looks very bad. Like a scene from a zombie movie. You have to see it to believe it. How did it become like this? It's a zombie apocalypse. I mean, it's rough. It's crazy. You can't believe it until you go there. This thought virus can be seen in downtown San Francisco. It's like the end of a civilized world. And they're not just spreading this way of thinking. They're stopping anyone who thinks differently. To make sure this thought virus keeps spreading, they stop other ideas from being heard, especially if those ideas could challenge it. Musk said that San Francisco looks really bad, like it's filled with zombies. He's also worried because it seems like some people are using technology and news to control things in a bad way. They're choosing to share only certain stories to make people believe what they want, while ignoring other important views. This is similar to what George Orwell wrote about in his books, where leaders twist the truth to suit their own goals. Musk thinks that in San Francisco and Hollywood, there's a group acting like a cult. He believes they are spreading fears about the end of the world. This group is doing things that are really wrong and harmful, using information in a harmful way to get what they want. Musk said, If you walk around the streets of downtown San Francisco, it is the end of civilization. And it's not just propagating the mind virus, but suppressing any opposing viewpoints. If you walk around the streets of downtown San Francisco, it is the end of civilization. Musk hinted that Facebook might be doing the same thing as what's happening in San Francisco, where certain information is controlled or twisted. This makes people wonder if we can trust the information on sites like Facebook. It also makes people question if there's real free speech on these sites, even though they were made to let people share their thoughts freely. Also, Musk, who cares a lot about the environment, also talked about some people who are too extreme about saving the planet. Everyone agrees that we should take care of our world. But Musk is worried about some people who think the best way to do that is by getting rid of humans. There is a famous story on the front page of the New York Times about a man who thinks that humans should be extinct. He said that the world would be better off without any people, which is a really strange thing to say. These extreme ideas can make it harder for people who just want to find good ways to help the environment and make a better future for everyone. As Musk said, the Earth could take probably 10 times the current civilization. You could 10x the population without destroying the rainforest. So the environmental movement has gone too far. Moreover, Musk said some surprising things about Twitter. He thinks that even though in the beginning, Twitter started as its own thing, very soon it was controlled by the government. Basically oppression of any, any views that would even, I would say, be considered middle of the road. And this was a big deal because people thought Twitter was neutral, but in reality, it was influenced by powerful groups. Musk called old Twitter a government tool that didn't let people speak freely. Elon said, Twitter was simply an arm of the government, was not well understood by the public, and it was like Pravda. Basically, a state publication is the way to think of old Twitter, and the justification was from their perspective that they have the right intentions. It's interesting to point out how Musk said that the people controlling Twitter didn't actually make it. They just ended up in charge. This could be why Twitter has made some strange choices. Musk also talked about the Taliban having accounts on Twitter. He thinks everyone should be able to speak their mind, even if we don't agree, as long as they're not breaking the law. He feels that even leaders of countries should be on social media, 
so everyone can see what they're saying and talk about it openly. Musk said, In fact, generally officials from Iran do in fact go to the UN building in New York, even though there are heavily sanctioned countries. So I think that there's merit to it. I think one shouldn't have a world government that we bow down to, but I think you do want to have the leaders of countries represented on social media. So, as you can see, Musk made a lot of changes on Twitter and completely transformed the platform. If you are interested in working for Musk, it seems that Musk is seeking expertise in the fields of technology, science, space engineering, and rockets. Do you have the time to delve into these subjects and present yourself to one of the leading space and technological entrepreneurs of the 21st century? You'll need intelligence and a strong ability for critical thinking. And that's it for today.